Just because you're not first, it doesn't mean you're always last. Sure, being the first overall pick means you probably have more skill than the rest of the draft class, and thus you're more likely to succeed, but these 32nd overall draft selections turned out just fine. Who cares if they were the last pick in the first round? I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present the 10 best 32nd overall picks in NFL history. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. And a big shout out to Ham the Man for suggesting this list. We hope you enjoyed it. If you do, leave your ideas down below. You never know, we might make a video out of it. Number 10, Teddy Bridgewater 2014. Drafted by Minnesota Vikings in 2014, Teddy Bridgewater quickly emerged as the Vikings franchise quarterback. In his second year, Bridgewater led Minnesota to a surprise NFC North Division title and was named to the 2015 Pro Bowl. Unfortunately, Bridgewater missed all of 2016 and virtually the entire 2017 season with a torn ACL. After signing with the New York Jets in 2018, Bridgewater was traded to the New Orleans Saints and accepted the role as Drew Brees' backup. Bridgewater will become a starter again one day, and we know he has the skill set to be a quality starter. For now, he's the 10th greatest 32nd pick in NFL history. Number 9. Matthias Kiwanuka, 2006 The New York Giants wisely traded up with the Pittsburgh Steelers to land Kiwanuka. With that, the G-Men had their defensive line for the future set. The 6'6", 267-pound defensive end anchored a stout defensive line that also consisted of Justin Tuck and Michael Strahan. The Giants beat the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 42 and 46, thanks in large part to an elite pass rush that knocked Tom Brady off his game. Kiwanuka finished his career with 38.5 sacks and 12 forced fumbles. He was overshadowed by other great Giants, but Kiwanuka was a big reason they won those two championships. Number 8. Patrick Robinson, 2010 the New Orleans Saints drafted Patrick Robinson after winning Super Bowl 44, and boy was he a nice bonus on top of their championship victory. Robinson has been a solid number two or three cornerback throughout his career. He joined the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017 and helped them win Super Bowl 52, the first in their history. Pro Football Focus gave Robinson an excellent 89.8 .8 grade for the season. Needless to say, he was a big part of their championship run. Number 7. Benjamin Watson, 2004 Another gem of a pick by Bill Belichick. As if winning Super Bowl 38 wasn't enough, Belichick landed gems in nose tackle Vince Wilfork and tight end Ben Watson with late first round picks, and Watson delivered big time as a number 32 selection. Watson has been a reliable tight end throughout his career, winning Super Bowl 39 with the Patriots. He's good for around 500 receiving yards a season, which is what you want from a number 2 tight end. Watson has had some good moments with Tom Brady and Drew Brees. Not bad for a guy that was passed on 31 times in round 1. Number 6. Logan Mankins, 2005 Another Patriots Super Bowl victory created another opportunity for them to draft a gem with the 32nd pick. In 2005, it was Fresno State guard Logan Mankins. The 6'4", 308-pound Mankins anchored the Patriots' offensive line from 2005 to 13. He was named to seven Pro Bowls in a 2010 first-team All-Pro selection. Mankins was one of the top offensive linemen of his era and a longtime protector of Tom Brady. But the only thing that sucks is the fact that this workhorse and beloved Patriot never won a Super Bowl. But the good folks in New England won't forget all his contributions to the franchise, we hope. Number 5. Scott Case, 1984 Back in 1984, the 32nd pick was actually in the second round. The Atlanta Falcons took Oklahoma safety Scott Case with the pick, and he turned out to be one of the biggest steals of the 84 class. Case was a 1988 Pro Bowler and led the league in interceptions with 10. Looking to win that elusive Super Bowl, Case joined the Dallas Cowboys in 1995. This underrated safety did in fact capture a championship ring with America's team. He then rode off into the sunset. Number 4. Fred Smurless, 1979 For some reason, teams weren't so high on Boston College nose tackle Fred Smurless. The Bills got him in 1979 and he turned into quite a player considering he was drafted so late. Smurless was named to five Pro Bowls in his career, finishing with 18.5 sacks. He was also a 1982 All-Pro selection, and he spent some time with the San Francisco 49ers and New England Patriots after moving on from the Bills. Smurless and Bruce Smith were one of the top pass-rushing duos for a few years in the mid-late 80s. If only he stayed there a couple of more years to be part of their four straight Super Bowl appearances. Maybe the Bills would have emerged victorious in one of them. Number 3. Ray Donaldson, 1980 Times were quite tough for the Colts franchise in the 80s. There was a controversial relocation to Indianapolis from Baltimore. John Elway refused to play for them and was traded to Denver. Arch Schlichter wasted his career by means of gambling addictions, but Ray Donaldson was one of the few bright spots for this team. They got him in the 1980 draft, and Donaldson turned out to be one of the greater players in this franchise's history. Donaldson was named to six Pro Bowls in his career, and he picked up a Super Bowl 30 championship ring with the Cowboys. You could say that he's kind of sort of a Hall of Fame snub. I mean, how many better offensive linemen were there? Number 2. Henry Ellard, 1983 
The Rams drafted Ellard and got way more than they could have asked for. This three-time Pro Bowl wide receiver had seven 1,000-yard seasons in his career. Ellard also led the NFL in receiving during the 1988 season with 1,414 yards. He had 10 touchdown receptions, too. Ellard ranks 15th all-time in receiving yards with 13,777. I'm no mathematician, but I'd say that's pretty impressive for a number 32 pick. And number one, Drew Brees, 2001. Brees was actually the first pick in round two of the 2001 draft, not the last pick in round one. There's a difference, people. The San Diego Chargers drafted Brees out of Purdue. Listed at just six feet tall, most teams thought Brees' smallest stature would hold him back in the NFL. They were dead wrong. Brees, who signed with the New Orleans Saints in 2006 after the Chargers opted to roll with Phillip Rivers, has carved out the greatest career by a 32nd overall pick ever. He's the all-time passing yards leader and should break Peyton Manning's record for career touchdown passes. Brees is good for over 4,000 yards and 30 touchdowns just about every year. He's led the league in passing yards seven times. And oh yeah, he won Super Bowl 44 with the Saints. When Brees was selected by the Chargers in 2001, I bet no one expected him to break just about every major passing record, but here we are. Drew, you're the greatest number 32 pick ever. Congratulations, who dat? What other great 32nd overall picks should we have included on our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.